Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fujisen Jr.'s Weekly Recap. In these episodes, I talk about what happened throughout my week, and I just talk in front of the camera. So if you guys like it, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get going. So, this week was another uneventful week. <laughs> Pretty much Monday, I had teaching, taught my students on basic addition and subtraction, like three digit addition and subtraction, figuring out strategies for reading. We started working on book clubs, reading chapter books, and also independent reading, just building their stamina. For writing, they are starting to write personal narratives. We haven't started that yet, but we brainstormed ideas and what we can write, how we can start sentences, what we can do when we are stuck, and taught those strategies with them or to them. Um, for, yeah, we, we haven't done much in teaching yet. On Thursday, they did something which I'll talk later, but yeah, nothing pretty much on Monday besides tutoring in the afternoon as well. And that's going well with my student, so that's good. I've been reading my book as well. I finally know that it's called The One, not The Match. So sorry to those who thought that it was, the, it was called The Match, it's called The One. And I've, I've been enjoying it actually. I'm halfway through the book in two weeks and I wasn't a big reader at all, but for some reason I've been hooked into it and I've enjoyed it a lot. I also, been, I also worked out that day, finally hit, hit 275 again. My, one, not one RM, three RM for, for bench is 275 for three. And that was when I was bulking back in uh, March and April, so Compared to then, I'm still a little weak, but getting back to my groove and rhythm, so hopefully I can get that back. Tuesday, same with the teaching, nothing new. Did some weather and science, like t teaching them like the water cycle, what type, what types of precipitation there are, there are, and yeah, nothing really special for teaching as well. I took them out for a couple minutes at the end of the day because I was happy with their, their work. And besides that, nothing much. I had soccer on Tuesday, which I, did I play? Yeah, Tuesday I played really well. I was grinding. My friend uh, from Yukon came, my roommate also came, so all three of us went, which was nice, you know. It's good to have people coming to, my, my friends coming to the pick up soccer as well, because it gets more competitive. It's good to have some familiar faces as well. So that was nice. And then nothing much happened Tuesday night. Wednesday, we had a half day. Uh, we started prepping for our open house, which is basically parents coming into our school at night to just listen to teachers talk about what, how they can like support their kids at home, what we will be teaching throughout the year, and just having any, like asking us any questions that they have, so. And nothing really special, so. <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, this week was so uneventful, so. Yeah, and then. Once tonight, I didn't do anything. I just called one of my friends, friend from New York. He went, actually went to London, so he was talking about his story or his journey to London. And we also just play stumble guys per usual. Like that's just like a go-to game for us. So we'll tell you that. Thursday, usual teaching. And then we started doing this uh, statewide test called iReady. Basically it's like, um, a standardized test for students to see where they are right now at the beginning of the year and we're going to take one again at the end of the year to see if they improved or not so it's just like a parameter and like a basic i don't know what the word is but yeah basic test for them to just figure out where they are <laughs> yeah i'm a little tired honestly so yeah i can't really speak well and thursday after that um Oh yeah, my students struggle with estimating and rounding. So I thought that it would be best for me to teach again, teaching, teaching that again on Friday. And yeah, I was a little disappointed because I thought they knew what rounding was in second grade and I thought they did it in second grade, but yeah, I guess estimating and rounding are two different things for them. So I had to, I was gonna, it was like a teaching point for me to be like, okay, I'm gonna try this again tomorrow and see if they can actually figure it out. So that happened Thursday. Thursday night, play pickup soccer again. 
honestly, I thought I played decent. It's just that my team personally did not play as well as I hoped. Like there are just not many people coming back for defense and we couldn't score goals and it was just unfortunate. At the end, we played well, but like who wants to play well at the end, you know? I want to start playing well from the beginning of the game. So okay. it is what it is and we just move on. Yeah, pretty. that's pretty much end of Friday. We continued doing the test. Uh, some students finished, which I was a little surprised because it was supposed to take at least three days. And yeah, they were rushing and what can I do? They're students and they're eight years old, eight, nine years old. Like they need, they don't have patience as I want them to have. So, which, you know, it is what it is. And after that, they just read a lot. And then we worked on rounding numbers and estimating again, which actually turned out better than I expected. Students started to understand what they're supposed to do. Once they rounded up the numbers, they're supposed to add them or subtract depending on what the question is to figure out an estimate of the question and then solve the actual problem, which I was very proud of myself as well as proud of the students for understanding and I thought it was I thought it was a great moment for me as a teacher to just like take a step back, not rushing through things and then going back to like teach that because it's important for students to know that, especially later on, like rounding, maybe not, but especially for the test that we're going to have for rounding and estimating addition and subtraction, like they're going to need to know that skill. They're going to use it in fourth grade as well. So it was nice for me to just like take a step back not rush through the cur curriculum and then just teach that skill which i was very very proud of and then what did i do friday friday didn't do anything friday yeah friday i, didn't, I actually didn't do anything well then saturday in the morning i went to go get a massage which felt nice I thought I was gonna get a, like, you know, more relax my body, feel more light and everything, but I don't know. I'll give it like a seven out of 10. Could have been better, honestly. And I wanted to go to Walmart to buy more groceries and like toothbrush and toothpaste because I wanna start taking care of my uh, teeth, which I have been, so that's good. I also, start, I also bought hair care stuff. I bought a hair mask hair oil and leave-in conditioner for my hair. And you can see it, it's kind of, it's dry actually, but it looks shiny because of the oil and the leave-in conditioner. And my hair is, feels very smooth right now, which is nice. I bought like Japanese product, per usual, a little biased, but Japanese products are the best, never goes wrong. And hopefully this keeps my hair young and, you know, like smooth and looking young, you know, because as you grow older, you start to lose hair, your hair becomes frizzy, you're gonna have a lot of hair damage. So taking care of a younger age is very important. And that's what I wanted to do. So started it out. Kind of changed my hairstyle again too, which right now it kind of is not that good, but we can fix that out, yeah. And Saturday night, I hung out with my friend. We went to go explore Connecticut a little more, just like drive around and everything. Then we went to this Mexican place to eat dinner, which was good. I love Mexican food, like it's one of my favorite. And yeah, I read more of my book and I'm actually I'm actually really proud of myself with the book because I never enjoyed reading when I was growing up. And now that I wanted to make a change for myself, it's like a great way for me to just relax, just change, get my mind out of like, get things out of my mind and just learn English, you know, become a better reader, become better at comprehending things and just like taking in more knowledge and everything. So it's good that I'm do having this habit now. And then Sunday, I actually didn't do anything today besides working out. I was a little exhausted from yesterday night because I was up till like 12 a.m. playing Stumble Guys with my roommate. And yeah, we'll see how this upcoming week will go. I don't have much planned but hopefully it'll be better. So if you guys like this, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.